Are the US and Germany having a fallout? Is Trump unhappy with Angela Merkel? And is the NATO in trouble? As per a report by the Wall Street Journal, the Trump administration has decided to cut the number of American troops in Germany, a key NATO ally, by 25%. Currently, 34,500 American soldiers are stationed in Germany, the second largest only after Japan, and Trump has decided to cut 9,500 soldiers from duty in this European country. The decision to cut the troops from Germany signals that Trump administration does not see the NATO as a unified bloc, the member countries of which America would provide protection without expecting any cooperation in return. The message is that if a government in any country is not friendly with the Trump administration or rejects American leadership, like the Merkel government in Germany, their security is at risk. The push to withdraw troops probably comes after Merkel's refusal to join the G7 summit and the European Union's support for China under her de facto leadership. The US president is keen to portray the meeting as a symbol of the world's return to normalcy post the coronavirus pandemic. But after Merkel's refusal, Trump has postponed the event, which was scheduled for June, and called for the inclusion of countries like India, Russia, South Korea and Australia into this grouping. Although this was clearly aimed at containing the Chinese threat, it also challenges Germany as all of the newly proposed countries are governed by leaders relatively friendly with the US and with Trump. Also, at a time when Trump is trying to isolate China from international groupings and hold Beijing accountable for the spread of the coronavirus disease, Merkel is trying to save China through the European Union. First, the Angela Merkel-led European Union gave China an entry into the World Trade Organization's alternative appellate body of which countries like US and India are not members. Then the EU saved Beijing in the World Health Assembly by proposing a watered-down draft on the investigation of the coronavirus spread which has no mention of Wuhan or China. The EU did this to the expense of Australia and China came in to have the last laugh. Merkel is supposed to be behind these actions by the European Union as she is the de facto leader of the group and has not made a single statement against Beijing so far. Trump's distaste for the multilateral global liberal order is not hidden from anyone and it was evident from the time he took over presidency that only the countries which would prove their loyalty to the US can reap the benefits of US security. Trump had made clear that NATO countries have to increase their defense spending to 2% of their GDP. Germany spends only 1.3%, one of the lowest, and they could no longer depend on the US for security upsetting the seven decades old American bipartisan consensus. In the last three and a half years, Trump and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel have not gone along on any global issue. Trump openly endorsed Brexit, which obviously irked the German Chancellor and other European leaders. Trump also opposed Germany's asylum to Syrian refugees, to approve of which Merkel risked all her political capital. All this was brewing since Trump came to power, as both leaders have very different positions on the political spectrum. Merkel is highly popular in Germany despite the rise of the alt-right, and Trump's stand against German leadership has led to unfavorable views of America in Germany. As per a recent survey by Pew Research Center, 57% of Germans do not have a favorable view of the United States, and 70% want Germany to remain neutral in the case of the Washington-Moscow conflict. For the last seven and a half decades of the post-World War II period, the United States was the guardian of Western Europe. It helped the war-ravaged Western Europe to rebuild itself by financing vast infrastructure projects through the Marshall Plan and guaranteed security from the Soviet Union through the NATO alliance. But Merkel is portraying herself and the European Union as the new champion of the global liberal order after President Trump challenged the many flaws within it. And this has led both countries towards diverging paths for the first time since World War II.